<laughs> What's so funny? He's just like... Though the coronavirus pandemic was relatively slow to hit many developing countries, the World Food Program warns the outbreak could cause widespread famines of biblical proportions. The United Nations says locust swarms are threatening the food supply of millions. More than 2 million Americans have tested positive for the coronavirus. More than 112,000 of them have died. Uh, and yes, we've gone through a rough 101 days, but you ain't seen nothing yet. I take responsibility. Black people are being slaughtered in the streets, killed in their own homes. These are our brothers and sisters. You want to see a celebrity right now? Do we give a fuck what Ja Rule thinks? Does it matter about celebrity? No. This is the streets talking for themselves. We're going to try to get in front of that group squad. <laughs> from the CAS, the Kensington Autonomous Zone. We're running low on supplies, so if anyone could spare maybe a DiGiorno, some sour cream, cheese, rice, chicken, that would be greatly appreciated. So I just thank you for your cooperation in advance. We're taking back our country. What up? Oh, man. What's going on, man? I'm Nothing. overwhelmed this week. Dude, <laughs> this fuck too me. too much for me. I drove by. Um, Got all fired up in the middle of the week on the Chaz. Yeah, dude, I drove by Philly's Chaz on uh, 20th and Ben Franklin Parkway. There's a bunch of fucking morons with a free housing now sign. Oh, God. And they're all set up tents right there. Like, the weird part is they're all like $700 tents. Like, they're like legit outdoor camping tents I mean, that yeah, these people get. That's not the weird part. These people, like, dude, the whole time. <laughs> 
the whole time, dude. Yeah. Before they even did this to George Flynn, the whole time, <laughs> they could have been helping homeless people with these fucking tents, dude. Yes. If they want to build tent cities, dude, go to EMS, REI. Yeah. Go take your daddy's credit card. <laughs> Yes. You know, the one that you pay all your bills with. Yeah. They pay their own bills from bartending and waitressing, dude. And go buy someone a house. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Fucking you're, shit just fires me the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, you're dude. a scared white this boy. shit fires me the fuck up. It's the This big, has been going on for years, man. It's the, Well, dude, what's the... Didn't you say the one dude you know ate trash? I mean, I used to eat trash when I cleaned no, all the No, 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 yeah, but you're poor, dude. <laughs> this guy wasn't. Oh, yeah, the Freegan. I, I mean, I, yeah. What is Freegan, though? I still they don't understand. Don't, they do dumpster diving. It's but like this a kid cool was young kid thing to do. Where? They go behind restaurants and they get food. The food is good, honestly. I mean, it's still good. I've, yeah, they I've go never to heard supermarkets. Of. They go around collecting food all day. But this kid was completely wealthy. Completed, needed out from Germany with German money. Yeah, that's big money. money that survived World War II. Yeah, if you have money in Germany after World War II, you're a king. Yeah, I mean, all this shit is all just look at me stuff. Like, yeah, th- these white kids that are like, I'm an ally and all this bullshit, yeah. and they want to take sledgehammers to our fucking Confederate brothers that died in that fucking war. <laughs> um, they were their vets, their U.S. vets. Yeah, don't forget um, that. They these kids could have uh, helped poor people their entire lives. Yeah. They never gave a fuck before. They were getting tattoos. They're getting I'm watching fucking life. riots of people. So Someone's oppressed here. I yeah. can't figure out who it is. Yeah. But it's all being filmed on iPhone 11s. Yes. So, hey, dude, do you know who makes them? <laughs> Some rich hey, guys. Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Rich Chinese people that don't have suicide nets this outside of the This is fucking clown world, dude. This is hilarious. It's the biggest joke ever. Like, the, uh, down the street, they wrote, end racism now. On the on ground. The sh- on the ground. And so that they could get a drony pick. Yeah. That's all that was for. Dude. Currently, the CEO of racism is still at large, and they have not <laughs> found him. <laughs> all this shit started a couple years ago. There was a dude, Nicholas Powers, that wrote an article. Um, like a black dude, but like, you know, barely. Yeah. The ones Whatever. they hate. You know, maybe he's not of the culture. Yeah, I don't know. Can't. That's my new shit right yes. now. Yeah. Of the culture. Yes. Okay, guys. Um, he was like, he lo something like, um... He likes to see white poor white people beg in black neighborhoods. Like he liked to watch homeless people be white. Like he thought that was like justice. For and he was like, go go to a white neighborhood and beg. Like that's like this was a black dude being like, get out like get out of here with your white. I don't feel bad for you because you're homeless. So you yeah. white piece of shit, basically. Obviously. Yeah. And What's wrong with that? What do you mean? Why is that wrong? I'm what, with that dude, guy. Don't confuse me. I'm trying to fucking explain <laughs> this to you, man. I keep like, on explaining, but I'm on his side, but continue. <clears throat> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> um, it's just like the fucking bullshit of, you know, I guess, dude, whatever, man. You're one of them now. That's fine. I'm one of That's what? Fine. You're one of the racists. No, I'm not. You're one of the racists. I want to end it, dude. <laughs> I want to end this shit. I'm so, I don't know, like, what oh. they, what do you expect to happen if you quote unquote end racism? Well, dude. It's just going to be like a racist guy, Illuminati. If you keep talking about this fucking bullshit, if you keep – if if all the intelligentsia want to write articles yeah. about whiteness and homeless people are – like, if you can't be fucked up and you're white, I I just get confused. You're literally confusing the shit out of me, yeah. dude. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's bizarre. Like – Nothing is gonna happen. Like they act like there's a bunch of like w- like very rich white guys all grouped up in a basement. Like, did you hear the one about what did the black kid say to his father? Nothing. <laughs> just run away. Like I'm you're just, never gonna end this shit. Yeah, I'm just confused, man. These kids are running around, not identifying as whatever the fuck they they, they don't want to be. Play and pretend. Play and big. Re- hey, let's go play protest this week. We're gonna go take over some Seattle. Yeah. Like. Dude, there's cities that are bombed the fuck out. Yeah. There's a city by Philadelphia called Chester. Yeah. <laughs> Go autonomous zone down there, dude. They can't even get people to be fucking cops down there. Yeah. It's so scary. But go to Seattle like a bitch. Well, Order you're... pizzas, dude. Have a little protest. Were, We're playing were... protest today, guys. The chick who has that like 11 minute long video on the autonomous zone is like hard to watch. It's like we're this is a big George Floyd, uh, what should we call it? Mural. It's like maybe don't paint one of them. He held a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach and robbed her. God, what's coming to him? If you play those games, you're going to die dumb. 
I would kill someone who put a fucking gun to a pregnant woman's stomach. <laughs> like, wouldn't you? Dude. I'm, I'm supposed to feel bad for this guy. Dude, he's a crackhead. <laughs> you lived a crackhead life and you wound up getting killed by cops. This shit happens. Wow. I, I mean, I dare you to say that to the clone fucking Chappelle, dude. Go say that Fuck to the Chappelle, clone. Fuck Chappelle, dude. He's such say a bitch. Say that to the fucking clone. You black, no homo. You blackpilled me on him last night. First of all, this weird shit of 846. What's that? Well, oh, the minutes? He's claiming this is like when he was born. And that that's the same amount of minutes that George Floyd w- had a knee on his neck. And he's and it's on, he, they updated his Wikipedia, born at 846 in the morning. Hey, dude, you know what else happened at 846? The first plane crashed into the 911. Yes. Yeah. What the We're fuck? We're on a Masonic journey right now, guys. Yeah, I mean. There's a fucking literal clone <laughs> obsessed with race. Chappelle. Fucking pretending to be a comedian. I don't understand. You... Hey, dude. T- call me when season three comes out. Okay? <laughs> you want to tell? You're just saying shut up and make jokes. Yeah, for real. <laughs> shut up and dribble, bro. Yeah. I mean, you pilled me on Chappelle. I did not know both of his parents were professors and, like, hear him talking about, like, the streets and stuff like that. It's like, yeah. dude, why do you even talk? Watch Blogging Heads TV. That's probably what his dad sounds like. That's and bizarre. And he's like, this white bitch. Yeah. I say bitch because <clears throat> cause it's black. Yeah. Dude, your dad teaches at college. Why do you talk like this? It's fucking weird. <laughs> you it's are fucking Chet, you are a weird. black Chet Hanks. Yeah, dude, it's weird. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just stop with the weird race shit. They're knock g- it the fuck off. This is about the people against the police state. Yeah. Since nine eleven, we've ro- lost all of our rights. Yes. And then it's like endless fucking police. Fifteen something thousand people have been killed by cops since nine eleven. Yeah. And we had a police state before that. Yeah. Whatever. Don't get me started, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all, all this shit, like, the fucking the videos with the people saying, like, I am not going to let racist jokes slide. Yeah. What are you talking about? I you it. let rape slide so you could get a fucking mm, good film. Point. Good point. That's cool. Child pedophilia. I'm not going to talk a, about yeah, that. I mean, there was but a goat that racist went up, jokes. There was a goat that went there. up to Hermione and got her to sign, try to get her to sign, like, an upskirt yeah. of her. Hilarious picture. Yeah. She's all fucked up. But, like, she's chilling with Harvey. Harvey's, like, right next to her in the picture. Yeah. Whatever. Just thought I'd mention that. That's, this is what I do not understand. It's like you're going to make a big stink about this and completely brush off everything else that goes on in Hollywood. Again, dude, these people are just psyoped by the, the – these, all of these people are what the, – the one man who – Lenin. I don't know if you know this communist guy. Nah. He called them useful Obviously. idiots. Yeah. That's what they are, dude. These yeah. are all – you're currently watching useful idiots being taped on TV. Yeah. This is not the America that was founded here, guys. No. We got to start programming again. This is bullshit. This is crybaby bullshit. I, this is poopy pants bullshit. <laughs> it is a poopy pants attitude. And Ice Cube knows what's up, dude. He's Cube's, trying to fucking drop pills. The fact that Cube immediately, like, it's like, oh, he's a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, whatever. A little crazy, a little crazy. And then it's Black Cube of Saturn in the fucking Jewish star. He's an anti-Semite. Cancel him. Cancel him. It's like, dude, strike a nerve, bro. Is, yeah. Ice Cube, is Ice Cube getting to the truth here? Yeah, well, you know, they're constantly on Wikipedia updating shit all day long. That's bizarre. Make I did not know look that. Good. Yeah, they, they openly are editing Wikipedia all the time, and that's what I'm saying. Like, Chappelle, the clone, sorry, the clone comes out and he says, 846, I was born on 846. And then it's, like, updated on Wikipedia. Dave Chappelle was born at 846 a.m. Obviously. Okay, guys. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, I mean, you're you're getting lo- you're getting like, weird as fuck with this shit. Yeah, that's the. You're telling me that the count on the fucking the knee on the neck was like, okay, there's the knee on the neck. Okay, time it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys, stop. Uh, uh, Enough. All this stuff is just you can't say anything because you're just like, oh, it's like you're a racist, but it's like. And Seattle, dude, owned by Gates. That's a good ass. Gates point. owns fucking this whole show that you're watching. They can shut down that for as long as they want. His dad, his grandfather, or his dad, I can't remember, was like in the Federal Reserve of Seattle. The fuck. So like those dudes do like crazy Illuminati shit. Dude. Yeah, I mean, if they want, like you said, if they want to shut down a certain block in Seattle, and like why aren't the cops doing everything? Why is everyone turning a blind eye? Grease. Yeah, watch True True Detective season two. I just watched it again. It's fucking sick. Yeah, I mean, he's, <laughs> Gates could easily be greasing this. Oh, yeah. And no one's fucking with them. They're gone, dude. And fucking Chicago's next, man. That, that chick doesn't give a fuck. Who, Beetlejuice? 
she doesn't give a fuck. Uh, some dude called her and was like, yo, I got armed guys on the streets, and she called bullshit on them. She's like, I got dudes with AK-47s. What am I going to do? Like, I can't have mats. He's like a pastor or something. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to have people come over for that. I, I can't, like, you're not doing anything. Yeah. And she goes, okay, next. And he's like, what, you're not going to respond to that? And she's like, no, I'm not going to respond to that because it's bullshit. That's how she's talking. Yeah. That's insanity. We're in clown world, dude. That's what I don't understand because, like, it's like everyone's talking about how, it, and it's not true. Like, they're, black people are getting slaughtered by cops. That's Dude, not race, true. The race baiting won't stop. And fucking the clone put out that thing, and he just starts going off on Chris Dorner. Like, Chris Dorner, are you fucking kidding me? He's the, he's the lunatic cop yeah. that went off. Yeah. And he wasn't even a cop. He was, like, in his probation period to be a cop. <laughs> he was a wacko from the Navy. Yeah. Dude, there's wackos from the Navy. There's wackos everywhere. Yeah. And he turned it all into the fact that he was black. This dude grew up in an all-white. He was the only black kid that went to his high school. Yeah, he went on a shit. He's, he's not of the culture. <laughs> he's not of the culture, as yeah. they say, dude. He's more of one of us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the dude went on a legitimate shooting spree. Yeah, he sounds way more white to me. Yeah. Like, went Kind of appropriated our thing. Thought everybody was after him. Yeah. Fucking went completely nuts. Killed a black dude. Killed an Asian dude. Killed a kid. Yeah. He went on a killing spree. And fucking... In a way, dude, it's just the bringing that up and not explaining that part of the story, but saying, like, he's the, my brother is like, dude, what? Yeah. What are you doing, man? It's what, all What, are you playing race out. games? Like, <laughs> what, you're Everyone's, a fucking millionaire. Yeah. It, you want uh, you want to do one of these chazzes outside your gated community, man? <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, This isn't going to end well for anyone that has anything. When they run out of fucking food. When they run out of uh, public property to fuck with, yeah. where do they go next, dude? Houses. Yeah. People's property. Yeah. Okay. Now are you guys going to realize why we have the Second Amendment? You fucking retards. Yeah, that is You're a, getting me fired up. That's a dude. dark reality. Because the, there's, like, there's guys out there who pray to God this happens. Like, you're in the city where everyone's just like, hey, it has oh, no yeah. home here. Do whatever you want. I can't understand why you guys are protesting. Like, I'm not going to speak on that. Go to the suburbs and fuck up someone's lawn, dude, and you will get shot. Yeah. <laughs> like, these dudes want this to happen. It's just like if you're up there and you're a millionaire and you got a platform and you're a fucking comedian and all this shit, why are you going to go race bait, dude? Money. I, it fucks me up. Yeah. And then you're going to do 846. Eight, everything's 846. Uh -huh. What the fuck's up with this number, guys? Did he, like, bring it up that it was Masonic, or was he just saying 846? Nah, obviously not, dude. He's fucking, he's a clone. He can't do that. He can't show his cards. Yeah. I mean, this stuff is getting fucking annoying. Like, I don't want to fucking hear it. I talk to people that aren't black, like a Puerto Rican lady, and she's like, what the fuck is this, like, Black Lives Matter? She's like, e everyone gets fucked that by cops. That dude's grandfather met a president. Dave his Chappelle. dad and yeah, his fucking mom taught at colleges. Yep. My dad, I think he graduated high school. He pumped gas for 10 years before I was born. <laughs> that was the dude's job. Yeah. I was born from an out-of-wedlock fucking... I mean, dude, who's more jammed here? Dave Me Chappelle. Or Chappelle. I see clearly, though. Dude. Dave Chappelle. Shave, Dave Chappelle. What? Because he's black. Yes. That's that race shit, dude. What do you mean? That's retarded. But that's right, right? Yo, when you do like the flip reverse, yeah. I get confused. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I mean... You that, think that's like a bit. Is no, that one of that's bits? everyone's argument. Like, no matter what, you can't touch black. It's like, what do you mean? Are like, are they inferior? Is that what you're saying, dude? No, he's sitting there <laughs> going like, slavery was yesterday. It's like, dude, my fucking unit, my genetic Earth suit wasn't even on this continent yet. <laughs> and you're gonna sit here and go, slavery was yesterday. Yeah. What? I don't even, dude. My grandpa's got dementia, and he was a kid when your family met a president. Yeah. All right, dude. I'm getting confused here, man. It sounds good, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, man. You can create these narratives. You can spin a tail. Yeah, I mean, that's all it is. You can spin a yarn, dude, however you want. Every single one of these this shit people. shit drives me fucking nuts, because if you keep this up, what are we going to do this? Another two generations? Are we going to have two more generations and then say slavery was yesterday? Like, what's going on, man? That's like when I'm reading the Thomas Sowell shit. It's like, dude, how far are we going to go back? Yeah, if you keep going back, <laughs> white people start getting jammed up, and then they go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, you know that whole chill. we was kings thing? You think you guys were chilling with everyone and being a good old boy? Dude, well, fucking hats off to my to the uh, 
president of Ghana or whatever the Canadian. fuck he is, dude. I love this motherfucker. He's gonna. He's Someone sent, sent us a proper way to say someone from Ghana, but we're gonna stick with. Canadian. He's inviting them all to go back to Ghana. So if they if they have if it's so bad here, guys, and you don't want to be American, Ghana. Become a Canadian. Yeah. It's swag as fuck over there too, dude. I, I I couldn't even pick it out on a fucking map. I've seen pictures. It's nice. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the the race stuff is just out of control, and like you, there's n- nothing. In March, dude, there was the cops broke into a white dude's house and killed him. Yeah. While he was sleeping, right? Because he put boogaloo on a hashtag on Instagram. Yeah. These are the same cops that do this shit all over the place that yeah. everyone's crying about, right? Yeah. That was a white dude. Did you hear about this? No. He got killed in the middle of the fucking night. You knew who trained the police force of that area? No. Yeah. The Israeli fucking police. Yo, what the Okay, man, you want to know where the knee on the neck move comes from? It comes from the Gaza Strip, bro. You better put some R-E-S-P-I-C-T on the Israeli forces, dude. They'll get us. I'm just saying, man. Yeah, I mean. The shit shit pisses me the fuck off. No one knows what the fuck. I don't know what I'm talking about. At least I know that. Yeah. I got to watch fucking literal queers. Try to swing a sledgehammer <laughs> and take down Confederate statues. Yeah. Or how about the bitch that um was defacing the? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What I say the that, fuck, I dude? I say that because I'm from the culture. You're from okay. It's uh, cool. It's cool. <laughs> you, I mean, you've lived in a predominantly black neighborhood longer than most of the black people around there. You're black. You got this. How about You're the cool. chick who? Dumping bitch. red so you paint. You can say, say bitch. <laughs> bitch. Yeah. <laughs> How about the chick that's dumping red paint and all that shit on the abolition? Literally, the dude that was teaching yes. them all how to read. It's retarded. It's like, oh, <laughs> way to go, guys. I hope your uh, Instagram a got a Instagram. lot of hearts. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. a sick Instagram picture. You are one step closer. I have an idea, guys. Let's go play protest without the phones. Do you still want to play protest? No. You guys want to play? Like, uh, who the fuck was talking about it? I can't remember. But it was like, you want to make up a Chaz? You want to shut it down? Kill the internet. Yeah. Take their internet away and then take their food away. But how are they going to get all their supplies from and goop? Then, and, then take the, <laughs> and then take the water away. And you realize that the infrastructure that we built here, when it was trees and mud you and swamps. Us. I'm talking about people. Okay. In general. Not your culture. Just people. You're going to confuse the shit out of me, dude. I'm not smart enough to play your, word, your mind games, all right, dude? Sorry. These are your yeah. bits. Yeah. You got to stop it with your bits. I'm I getting mean, confused. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, th- you were talking about that earlier, that, like, go ahead and become a autonomous zone. Fuck with tariffs. Yeah. Fuck with Import tar- tax. Fuck with everything that you have to fuck with if you're autonomous. Yeah. These people aren't even autonomous people. Yes. They These lit- people are backed by the bank of mommy and daddy. Yes. This whole thing is, like, they have no idea how anything works. You turn the faucet, They're protesting- water comes on. And they're getting texts like, are you okay, honey? What's it like down there? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, dude, yeah. The, there's people out there. You've painted for them. There's some loose cannon. The the Instagram and the internet's fucking these girls and boys up. You got people scribbling doggy on their walls. And oh, just like, fucked up. That's it, fucked up. It makes no <laughs> sense. Like, if you let a kid run free at some point, you, like, you got to rein them back and be like, hey, man. This is like how to behave in a society. Just completely uneducated, pr- playing pretend, acting like they're protesters from the 60s, wearing white kids walking around wearing Malcolm X shirts on. Yeah. If you n- understand Malcolm <laughs> X, if you watched any of his clips, you would understand that that dude would just say, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. How about you help white poor white people out? Yeah. Like – Take care of their own type of a, of a vibe. Yeah, I mean, and also too at the same time, not a peaceful protester. No, no, <laughs> he's a bad hombre. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I this whole thing is just absolute clown world because like, it's all these people talking about oppression where they have no idea what they're talking about. Like, Never helped anyone in the world. No. Never felt like helping any a soul. Yeah. And then it's cool on Instagram, so let's rock and roll, baby. Put up a fucking square. <laughs> yeah. Let's put up a black cube. Yeah, I mean... Nobody picks up on that. What do you mean? Oh, uh, let's yeah, go, cube. Let's go... Uh, could everyone please just right now uh, put a black cube up on your Instagram? That'll be cool. They love symbolism. Yeah. Come yeah, on, I mean... Wake up, wake up, wake up! 
the, yeah, the, the Chaz might be one of the saddest things in the world. Like, I, I was watching videos where a black dude would go up to talk. And he would, they would start saying, like, oh, we need, like, an LGBT person. He goes, oh, no, I'm a girl. And then they start – the man would say that. And then they would start clapping. And then someone would be like, well, why does it matter if he's black? And everyone's like, oh, yeah, you're right. Let's still clap anyway. Yeah, it's an endless thing. Like, you got these fucking girlfriends, sex workers, holding signs, white ones, that are like, I love black dick, so hear me, whatever. Yeah. And then black chicks are like – don't over-sexualize us. That's part of our oppression. And the white chicks are like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's like, how about you guys just like, you exist, know, be normal? <laughs> Maybe knock it the fuck off? Yeah. I and mean, if you put all this weird bullshit down of like, you can't say that about me. You can't say that about me. Realize that that's all a psyop from the media. Mm-hmm. And then go, what actually is going on here? The cops are way out of, way out of line. Yeah. They're breaking into houses and killing people for putting Boogaloo on a fucking Instagram. Yeah. So, hey, man, fucking put put your differences aside and squad the fuck up against the cops. Yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you're really a badass, punch a cop. If you want to spray a cab over everything, punch one. Yeah. If you have balls, attack a there's, cop. See what happens. There's not that many cops to people. Yeah. And if we were all armed, they wouldn't stand a chance. And if you start you start game theorying out what's going on, you get back to why the Constitution's sick. Yeah. You're like, oh, wait, cool. So we should be always allowed to say shit, and we should be able to defend ourselves. Yeah. And then you realize that these rights are natural law. This yeah. comes from God. Yeah. And the government is there just to make sure no one fucks with the rights that God gave you. Yeah. Our government, today's government, they believe that they give you the rights. Yeah. And that they can take them away. Yep. And that's the They've problem. They've done it. But meanwhile, you're getting fucking bamboozled thinking this is a black and white thing. Yeah. It's, it's like, dude. It's their easiest trick. This is the easiest trick in the book. Yeah, because that shit, like you are saying, that shit happens. And it's like everyone would just pay attention to how bad it is for black people. And they'll go kill that fucking bugaloo guy. Or George. they'll kill the dude in Dallas. And it's like nothing. Oh, yeah. And like the... The Chappelle thing fucked me up because I'm watching this and everyone's going to suck his fucking dick because he's yeah. Dave Chappelle, yeah. whatever. And he's jacked. Clone. Very cool. He's a, that's because he's a clone. Yeah, I mean. Old Chappelle wasn't. Old Chappelle was so cool and the show was cool and Half-Baked ruled. Yeah. But um, this guy was grown in a Petri dish and he's just <laughs> like a Masonic whatever. Yeah. But uh, they're talking about like, he's talking about like the Dorner dude and he's talking about the black dude that like lit up the cops for Black Lives Matter. It's like these saying guys are what? unhinged. Like and saying are, like they're good? <clears throat> no, he's saying like something's going on to the brothers when they hit the military. And it's like, dude. What? It just doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. No, it does. But it doesn't have to involve black. Yes. Because I know a ton and, of solid ass black dudes that were all in the military. Most of the solid <laughs> black dudes I know were military. Yeah. it's It's just. There's just no need to keep going with this. Yeah. Like, if you watch Morgan Freeman chilling, and Don Lemon will try to fucking bait him into, like, don't you think, like, race is a problem? He's like, yeah. you guys just got to stop talking about it. Yeah, literally. We're Denzel. Yeah. It's like, dudes that ascend are like, whoa, that was dumb. Yeah. Why was I getting all tripped up on that? Yeah. Like, that's what it is. You know how easy it would be for me to fucking spin a little pity party? Whew. And then go into a whole, like... Why me? Fucking why me bullshit, dude. Yeah. Times that by a whole culture. Yeah. And it'll never end. That's like if everyone envied you because you were adopted and your family tree like, yeah, like, that's fucking, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like spade. I do that I too. I want to be a victim. Yeah. It makes me feel good. I want to be a victim. This is that fucking shit. They internalize this weird white guilt. Sorry. It didn't work on me. The white guilt thing didn't work <clears throat> yeah. on me. I don't know why. I, yeah, I, I just, don't feel bad about being white, dude. I was born like, I spawned like this. Yeah. I respawned. This is what I was. Not my fault. Yeah, you can't help that. I mean, I'll tell you what, you had a pretty tough road. So it, for you, on the individual level, being white, it kind of is worse than being black right now. <laughs> like, literally. Uh, for, oh, yeah, when the race riots go out. Like, you I'm, go to Clark Park and people uh, sneer at you and they're all pissed. A black dude will go there and start jumping rope with a boom box. And was like, oh, that's really cool. And they just shuffle you back to your house and get the fuck out of here, weirdo, pervert. Yeah, if they want to go full full race ride, it's not looking good for me. I'm, sur- I'm literally surrounded. You're just toasted, yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. you, the Patreon will go to Spade's funeral. Yeah, it's just, I can't, I can't, the, 
I was all chazzed out in the middle of the week, but then I watched the Chappelle thing, and it's like, come the fuck on, dude. Like, you got, you got a chance here to not be a fucking crybaby. Yeah, and I mean. And then you're going to chuck up weird-ass shit with numbers and birthdays. And he hated and on black, the fucking and, hottest woman on the planet. And he's like, I was in the manifesto for Dorner. It's like, so was Hillary. This dude was thought Joe Biden was the man. Yeah. This dude thought Ellen was the best comedian. Pedophile. Thought fucking Chris Christie was cool. Fat Loved ass. Hillary Clinton. Pedophile. Yeah, it's yeah. like. You're not bringing up any of the fucking loose change that was Dorner, dude. Yeah. He was, one of the girls that he went out with put him on one of them websites like, don't date him. Really? Yeah, this dude was a Looney Tune, man. Yeah, I mean. He went on a full-on, honestly, surprise that a black dude could pull it off, but whatever. Yeah. Just shout out to my, to my brothers. They can yeah. do it, too, whenever they feel like it. It's in their blood. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just went on a fucking white rampage. Yeah. And... Then Chappelle's gonna spin it all like he's a black dude. Like what happened to this black? His, his somehow he lost his, his blackness. Somehow his black part gets played into it. That's what pisses me the fuck off. Yeah, it's like, dude, let the race shit go, or this is gonna continue into a. This is gonna get fucking wild oh, if yeah. you keep down this road. It, it, and you're not ready for it, guys. You're not ready for the reality of it. No. I know people with hand grenades. On, <laughs> on, on any level, you're not ready. Yeah. I mean, they 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 say they want a revolution, dude. They don't know what one looks like. No, and the thing is, like, shit's pretty good for everyone. Uh, dude, how dare you? It is. Really, you're gonna say that? Yes. Eight minutes and forty six seconds. Bro. You just got a new. You got your boots. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Relatively speaking, life's pretty good for everyone, unless you want to play into this mind control fucking yeah. victim shit. If you, These trust fund kids could make a huge difference. If you can videotape a riot on your phone, you're all right. You're doing all right. Yeah. These trust fund kids, instead of participating in like rioting, looting, destruction of property, talk to daddy. Start yeah. a fucking school. Start something to improve people's lives instead of feeding into a victimhood mentality that just creates generations of fucking people who are losers. Yeah, the wildest shit that I saw in the whole riot thing was – they were walking around going, we own the streets, Black Lives Matter. And then they walked by the hospital, and then the hospital people were cheering them on. Mm -hmm. Like the frontline heroes were cheering them on. Yeah. And it's like, I'm just watching these two psyops collide. Yeah. All of this is pr play pretend. You yep. saw the video of the nurse that debunked COVID. Yep. That now we know where all the extra bodies are coming from. They're yep. murdering people with... with uh, Ventilators. Ventilators. Yeah. So... Let's clap. Let's give a real great clap for all the people that are killing people with ventilators, yeah. guys. Thanks, guys, for, the, for something that's a common cold. All right, guys, cool. Keep wearing those scrubs, babies. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, you know we love this. <laughs> yeah, that video was intense because that that was my main jam up. I'm too fucking retarded and autistic to word this out. It took me this long from March from COVID isn't real to. It's now COVID-20. If you want to talk to me about a disease that's killing people, I'll talk to you about COVID-20. symptoms COVID of COVID-20 involve white mucus. Yeah. Uh, white lungs. Yep. Um, it's it's pretty weird. I don't think they know how to cure it. That's COVID-19. COVID-19 does not exist. Yes. So, yeah, that's <laughs> what – and I talked to my one buddy who, like, we've pretty much been on the opposite ends of these spectrums. And then once I brought it to this, like, yeah, I agree with that. Like, the COVID-19 thing is a blown out of proportion – farce for economical and political gain yes for the powerful elites the same with the riots same with, same all with the this. george floyd killing yes same thing and then the hospitals the shit happens all the time they never cared yeah that's that's what and people are like how could this happen like how could this thing go through it's like you're familiar with war right we go to a different country under a psyop and a tons of people get killed in the name of freedom when it's really Food, heroin, food, drugs, yeah, oil, shit. and all this stuff. For so, some reason, we're over in Syria burning wheat fields. So, hey, cool, neocons, let's go. Let's keep yeah. it up. I wonder who told you to do that. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> sounds like a great plan. Let's go back to the Middle East. Like, why would the hospitals do it? Money. Yeah. They're getting $29,000 per and every and person. And they're killing people in their 30s. Yeah. Because once you get put on the ventilator, it's a death sentence. Yes. That's what they were saying. They're not even testing COVID positive. And then you're putting them in a holding thing with people who have COVID. And they're praying that you get tested. COVID cases in Philadelphia 
are not on the rise. No, they are now, though. Now they're on the rise. Yeah. Pennsylvania. I don't know about Philadelphia. Philadelphia. They said that things were down, but we have to wait two weeks. All this stuff is all fucked. It's just to confuse you. Yeah, they, if you go on the news and you watch the whole map of the U.S., they'll light up Pennsylvania. They go, oh, wow, it's going up. 60 people. So the whole state. 60? It was 60 more people. And then that, that justified uh, like us getting highlighted as, a, as an increase. Yeah. So they've been doing all that this whole time. They've been fucking media, with graphs and shit. It's all media fucking graphs. And They'll show you a real graph and like kind of be obscure with like what line means what. Well, and the if you stats look at are it real, glance. but then the graph is adjusted yeah. to make it look like they do with the continents when they try to make Africa look really small. Yeah. Like that. This this whole thing has just been an absolute fucking farce. Yeah, all of this is fake. Because that's what I said. If there wasn't a big freak out like this, people wouldn't have been afraid to go to hospitals. The people who have COVID-20 would would have been like, yo, I feel like shit, go to the hospital, cool, get taken care of. There would need, no be no block on hydroxychloroquine, zinc, pad, all that shit. It would be all cool. It would just be a little like, yeah, it was fucked up. Some people died of that. But people die little, of random shit all the time. They had a little practice round, Event 201. Yeah. They also practiced the fucking um, food shortage is about to hit. Yeah, you got chill. I'm just trying to hope you're wrong on that. Okay, so they had a practice <laughs> round in 2015, and they said it was going to happen in 2020, Bill. Yeah. So when they had the practice round of COVID, what happened? Have it. So could you imagine that even if there was food, that they would be telling us that there's about to be a famine? And that they're going to keep food from us. Can we talk about something else, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hope to God this doesn't happen. I mean, this is as close to the the media is trying to destabilize humanity. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a they're pretty good job. trying to take Gaddafi. down the Western world. Yeah. And Gaddafi was like, back in the day, Gaddafi was <sighs> like, Americans are cool. Yeah. But they're just like... The Zionist lobby will destroy them from the inside. They'll make the Americans yeah. decadent and dumb. Yeah. And they they got psyoped by the media, dude. The media is ruining the country. Yeah, dude. I literally love Gaddafi simply because of hypernormalization. I cannot put on ELO without thinking about him. <laughs> Hell now. yeah! He dude. loves ELO, and every time like Evil Woman comes on the truck, all I can picture is Muammar Gaddafi <laughs> in a fucking echoing palace, listening to like Blue Sky. <laughs> I don't know. That is a goat thing to love. ELO. I mean, I love I mean, ELO. I love ELO. Yeah, fuck. Good taste. Maybe he was right. Tight ropes of jam. Dude, yeah. I mean, that, that, if you can't unplug and see this, because all my buddies who were like in the beginning, like, uh, like we got to be careful with this, like, they can now see, like, wait a minute. Now, COVID-19 might be a bacteria. And because of that, they're saying, hey, don't do any autopsies. Yeah. The old don't dig up the body tricks. Trust us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the body the body count stuff fucks me up, dude. Yeah, I mean this is all fucked up, and no one gives a fuck because they're too worried about police slaughtering black people, even though the racist stats show that isn't true. Uh, how fu- how off can they be? What do you mean? Like, how off can these stats be when you say that they're race? You're trying to say that they're, they're not off. That's the you're thing. You're trying to say that they're like swung like a certain way to make no, it. No, no, They're saying, remember, I, I said this a few weeks ago. Everyone's cool with statistics and numbers in COVID. You jump into like black deaths by cops. Like, are they being slaughtered? And you're like, hey, stats show that that's not true. That's racist. Oh, yeah. That's just the clown world stuff. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, like, yeah. Everything is by the book until you get to this because it doesn't fit their narrative and they can't control those stats. Yeah, well. But if you bring it up, you're a racist. This a, is this has to be so infuriating for normal ass black people who are just programming. Yeah, there's a um, there's a what the fuck's it called? There's a thing that Passio was talking about. It's called worldview violence, and what they do is they have a worldview yeah. that they push on this. Okay, unfortunately, guys. Yeah, the say government, sorry. The government. Oh yeah, fuck, dude. Say sorry to pass. All right, I got quick. an apology to make. I called Passio a pussy. Uh, called him pussy. He was wondering where his podcast was, dude. Let's have a moment of silence for Barb Marinelli. Passio's bay. R.I.P. Passio's going through a tough time. Yeah, you're sorry about that one. Kind of really showed your ass there. Really fucking. 
way out of pocket with that. But anyway, uh, yeah, worldview violence. Uh, the official narrative of the master class is not to be questioned by the members of the slave class. Mm-hmm. That's what this is about, guys. Yep. So I'm master. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy the media, and I'm going to have the media tell the slaves whatever the fuck, you know, I want them. I, the message that I want to put out yeah. as the dude with all the power and the money yep. is the message that they're going to hear. Yeah. And unfortunately, these fucking morons think that, like, the naivete, bro, yeah, of these word. fucking children. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it it is it's insane. And if you watched a rich man's trick, this is what it boils down to at the end. Like everyone's fighting between fucking races, when in reality the bombs are getting dropped on you, not from a white or a black person, just a powerful fucking elite that yeah. wants you to not look up and be like, oh fuck. Well, what the fuck do you think it's like if you live in Africa and everyone's black? You think that everything's just like that's what I'm saying. High five. Yeah. Like what the fuck, dude? It's the same like weird obsession. If there's a king. And there's fucking minions. There's slaves in Africa right now. Hell yeah, I know. Yeah. What the fuck? Shout out Obama. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. It's like, what are you talking? You're talking about something that happened here 200 years ago. Shit's gotten a lot better. Tenfold, some may say. And there's slaves in Africa. Go there. Stop yeah. this. In- stop the real slaughter of black people. But I'll tell you what. You go over there with that fucking shit to Africa. Ooh, I know Africans. They fucking Ghana. hate black people. Try to go back to Ghana, guys. <laughs> they Try get to go back, so guys. fucking mad. <laughs> I used to watch a black dude and African guy argue all the fucking time. Chappelle's mom was like some kind of a minister. To the some Congo, kind of right? Like a fucking, she was some kind of like a high up. Yeah. It must be weird to be like that. Like, you know. It's just weird for me. Out of touch? Yeah, like, you know, there's... Just he's so oppressed. Yeah. You know, and it's it's just wild that like they'll sit there and like fucking fetishize. It's the same shit they do with yeah. Ta Nehisi Coast. It's like anything they say is like um like oh man that's like they, they romanticize all this fucking bullshit. Yeah, they use like cool like poetic they'll just be speech. like oh yeah yeah like they'll have college classes on like fucking Public Enemy. Yeah. Like dude. It's just fucking, well, hold on. What am I going to do? Get fucking Nevermind? Yeah. And start teaching everybody, like, white culture? So technically, oh, <laughs> this is the best Nirvana album of all time, even some people think in utero is, but that's not true. So when Cobain crafted Smells Like Teen Spirit, I mean, it was really more of an essay on United States culture. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it is fucking clown world. Like, any the weird part is like I was all the, all week long I've been listening to like Coleman Hughes, Tanahasi Coates, like all those dudes like debating, and it's like you get down to something that's like rape. Oh well, rape was invented by white people. Goes, yeah. Have you ever seen animals? Wow, dude. I'm just saying like you can't call they'll them just animals. go and fuck something. You can't call them animals. Bro. I'm not calling them animals. <laughs> I'm just saying like dude. animals will do this. Chill. It might be our Chill. hey. Dude. I'm not coming at your culture. I'm just coming at. I'm just saying. You are not of the culture. I'm not. I don't even know where Jay Z's from. <laughs> this is just like no one created any of these heinous acts. This is what people would do. The Mongols, like all these people, you would come and rape and pillage. Like it's not a white thing. It's just a human thing. No, but right now they're gonna they're gonna spin it. They teach us in college. Like this was infiltrated. This is this Bolshevik. This is the fucking Marxist stuff. Yeah. Cultural Marxism. Yeah. When you say that, people say that's anti-Semitic. Yeah, I don't give so a fuck about any of that. If you hit, if you're sitting here and you want to boil something down and figure out what's going on, and you hit a little dead end that's anti-Semitism. Yeah. Think about why that's happening. Yeah. Think about who's pulling those. Think strings. about what kind of a fucking world power alliance is behind. You being brainwashed, or this kind of knowledge being off limits to you. Yeah. Because when you go to school and they try to teach you shit, you're not getting educated. You're getting fucking programmed. Yeah. And the people that are teaching you are pedagogues. They're what does the, that they're mean? a slave what class. What does that mean? You're it's sl- a word that means uh, it's a slave that teaches the other slaves to obey. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's a slave that teaches other slaves to obey. That's what your teachers are. Yeah. If you were really free, 
you could run around and do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. We have you truant officers, dude. Yeah. You're told what to go, when to go to school, when to do this, when to do that. Dude, this isn't how humans are supposed to live. Yeah. We didn't evolve on fucking time. No. <laughs> they programmed you to get up and move at the ding of a bell. Yeah. They program you to be consumers. Yep. They program you to want to fucking believe in weird ass causes that are fake. Yes. And, and then if you step out of line and you want to go look into shit or you want to fucking say something different, you can literally go to prison in some countries. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, that that is a crazy shit. Like when you were telling me earlier in the week, like Ben Franklin's little kid self had a program, like a, a – what was it? He had a curriculum. He had a curriculum. That he made for himself. Yes. That would scare dudes at Yale. Yeah, th- and these are all people that are just like – When he was 12. He was also working 60-hour weeks. His dad was a candle maker. Yeah. Whatever, guys. J- fucking Thomas Jefferson was operating a fucking 2,000-acre two, two farm when he was 14. That's insane. Both of his parents died. Yeah. And it's like – you got to get out of the mindset. Like, these guys would be rolling in their graves watching 24-year-olds oh my God. videotaping a fucking PSYOP. Living in a tent house? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I, I used to get in arguments with my old girlfriend where she would be like... I love how all these things are based on... They need endless supplies delivered to them. Yeah. And then they're like, we got this. Yeah. We are doing something. It's that, like, you fucking morons. Yeah. Like, truck drivers are refusing to go into cities that don't have police. So if you defund the police... Good luck. The truck drivers won't go into your city. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but if you if the truck shut down, the whole country shuts down. Three yes. Days. That's why I used to have arguments where it was, why the fuck do I need to do these gen eds? Like, why do I have to go to a college and pay $2,000 for a yoga class just because I have to fulfill my gen eds? Don't get me started on the chigs and when the chigs, sent, they're, they're fucking smart, dude. Dude. This drives me up a fucking wall. But bro. it's like... <laughs> You realize if you just streamline something, and I didn't, I didn't know about Thomas Jefferson and Ben Franklin and all them. If it's from day one and you streamline something, you're going to be a fucking animal. George Washington went to school for the first time when he was 11. Yeah. He took a trigonometry class. Was his, the beginning, his beginning math was trig. <laughs> okay? He learned them all backwards. Trig, then geometry. And in five years, he was the surveyor for Virginia. Yeah, that's absurd. He was making maps and shit. Yeah. So can anyone that's listening do any of this? Or did you learn how this white people oppressed other white yeah. people? Christopher Columbus, a yeah. Spaniard, was super bad. Yeah, I love how they're like, oh, yeah, we got to get rid of Columbus. It's like, dude, you can't keep going back in history. It all falls apart. Yeah. It, it's so funny because they go back in history, and then if they went back another hundred years, dude. Yeah. The whole thing falls the fuck apart. Yes. That's what I'm it's saying. It's like out of control how it falls apart. It's like you look at what Christopher Columbus did. It's like, oh, he did some bad shit. It's like, like all these up, sta- like all these dudes did bad shit. Look into the Barbary pirates. Look into the Barbary sla- the Barber slave trade. They had more white slaves than we had slaves. Yeah. They had more white ones. Just white. Yeah. <laughs> they had other slaves. Yeah. But just the white ones, they had more than we had. Yeah. Of slaves. South America got 10 times as many slaves as us. Brazil. If America, if you want to say that America's original sin and all this shit, and I'm imagining other countries like hear this shit. Yeah. They see this shit in movies. Like the original sin of slavery. It's yeah. like, dude, slavery's bad. Yeah. We get it. It's it over. happened to everyone. It's over now. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, and yeah, you're not done. The work's not done, guys. So maybe don't worry about the Confederate statues in the United States. Yeah. Go. Sorry, everyone. Had to go over to the Patreon because um, got a little crazy there. So, you want to hear the rest? Uh, <laughs> go on over there. You know, he always he's a good guy. He just sometimes he loses his stuff. You know.